Well, last night the DNR shut down walleye fishing on Lake Mille Lacs for the first time ever. The decision was made because of the record low walleye population on the lake and because the quota was met for how many walleyes could be harvested. And that left some of our viewers wondering, how does the DNR count fish? Good question. John Lawrence and talked with the DNR to tackle this good question tonight. He joins us now, John. Yeah, and the news coming from Lake Mille Lacs is pretty sad considering there's still a month left of summer and many businesses up there are impacted by this. But the DNR said the quota had been met for how many walleye could be taken from the lake. And they say the method they use is pretty accurate. I'm guessing sunnies. Maybe some crappies. Big mouth bass are way, way down there. Way down there, okay. yeah. Lake Phelan in St. Paul isn't nearly the size of Lake Mille Lacs. Oh, you got one. Ah. But on a gorgeous summer day, it can still reel in a crown. Uh, we're looking for large mouth. Large mouth bass. But I'm happy with anything. According to the DNR, Lake Phelan has bass, bullheads, sunnies, northerns, walleyes, and tiger muskies, just to name a few. They can even tell you approximately how many of each are in failing. How many lakes do you guys keep track of in the state of Minnesota? We, we actively manage about 4,000 lakes and several thousand streams. Al Stevens is the lake surveys coordinator for the DNR. He says to find out how many walleyes have been taken out of a lake, they first have to know how many were in the lake to begin with. We use uh, trap nets, gill nets, seines, and electrofishing equipment, trawls. Those nets target different sizes and different species of fish. They also standardize the number of nets they set and where they set them. So that we know if we catch so many fish per net, that's the population estimate for that lake. The way to find out how many walleyes have been taken from a lake relies a little more on word of mouth. It's similar to conducting a, a, a political poll. On bigger lakes, the DNR conducts what's called an angler creel survey. The surveys are considered accurate and expensive. And we go out and we interview anglers, uh, see what they have caught, we uh, estimate how many people are fishing that water body, and from that we can estimate how many fish have been caught, har harvested, and released. Yeah, Stephen says an angler creel survey can cost as much as $125,000 a year to conduct on some of the bigger lakes. He says they are labor intensive. They can interview thousands of anglers on a larger lake like Red Lake, Mille Lacs, or Superior. And they also use aerial footage to see how many people are fishing at various times. They've been using this method for decades. In fact, on their website, there's a lake finder search. So you can search pretty much any lake in the state of Minnesota. It'll have the results of some of these surveys they uh -huh. take. And you can see what kind of fish are in what lake. and. I didn't really know word up. of mouth had so much to do with it. Exactly. Yeah, I didn't know that either. It's pretty yeah. interesting. Yeah. They're paying attention to those fish tails. They are. Thank yeah, you, John. So, yeah. <laughs> if you have a good question, please email it by going to our website. It's wcco.com slash links.